All right, we have our functioning light switch. However, there is something that I want to address before we jump over to our other switch. Now, that is, if we jump into Kismet right now and take a look at all of our separate nodes, in fact, just real quick, if you want to, you can click on the Zoom to Fit button inside the Kismet toolbar, and that'll show you everybody. We've already got a lot of sequence objects starting to appear, and it's not immediately apparent what each thing is doing. So I want to talk briefly about setting up comments on your sequence objects. Comments can come in two flavors. You can take uh, your individual sequence object nodes and place comments directly on them, or you can have group comments, which can contain a, any number of nodes that you like. So what we're going to do is actually set up both. First off, let's, let's pick on this little area here where we've got our light switch. What's actually going on in this? First off, the player is using trigger one inside the level. Well, let's go ahead and designate that. If we take a look at the properties for this sequence object, down close to, I guess about three quarters of the way down, you'll see object comment. We can click this and type anything we want in here. Player has used light switch trigger. Bink, and there we go. So now we see a nice little comment telling us what's going on. As we zoom out, you'll notice that gets a little small and it can get hard to read, so uh, keep in mind you gotta zoom in to see those. Now, the next thing, we have our switch. What does this switch actually do? Switches between on and off states for material. Actually, let's just say switch between. Now that's a really long comment, okay? Generally, I don't leave comments that long. I'm only throwing them here just as an example for the, the sake of the video. So let's actually, let's pull this down so that things are kind of underneath our comment line. Get everything arranged just so. Now this vector, uh, set vector param, this is uh, the material on state. Now I'm gonna hit control C and select that. We'll jump into our second vector param and I'll paste this into the object comment and we'll set this to off state. Now our toggle, will toggle the point light. And we could put a comment down here on the actual variable, but I don't think we need to do that. So now, just by glancing at this network, you can see everything has taken place. The player has used the light switch trigger, which has fired off two things. One, it's toggling a point light, and it's going to switch between the on and off states for the material. There's the on state and the off state. The cool thing about it, if we'd done this at the outset, it would have been very easy to know exactly which of these two nodes we needed to select and bring over here to our level loaded. So be sure to use comments. Now, there's another kind of comment as well. You can take any selection of nodes. So for instance, I could hold down Control and Alt and drag a marquee selection box around all of these guys. Then I can right click and I can choose new comment or as a shortcut, I can just press the C key and that'll bring up the new comment window. So you can type whatever text you want in here. This will be our light switch network. Now check it out. We get a little box that surrounds all these. Now I'm going to position the box just a little bit more strategically so we can just, with the box selected, you can just click on its name to select it. You can hold down control and drag that around like any sequence object. And then using the little black triangle in the lower right corner, I can expand it out. Now it has a couple of cool little settings to it. We can tell it whether or not we want it to draw the box. So if really all you want is just some floating words, you can switch off the box. You can control the border width, so we could crank that up to say three pixels if we want that to be a little bit brighter. We can change the fill color, Now this is kind of cool. Now the light switch was currently attached to a blue uh, object in our level, so let's make this blue. I'm gonna take green and, uh, and red, and let's just pull those down to zero. So now this whole thing is blue. It also has an alpha value, which controls how transparent it is. By default, that's set to 16, so you have kind of a faint blue. We can crank that up to, say, 64, and have a much you know, darker blue color. 
And actually, if we're going to do that, let me take the green and push that up to, say, 100 just to get a nice kind of you know, lighter blue color. So there we go. We've got a nice comment which surrounds that. Notice that the name of, or the actual comment that we put on these boxes will resize as we zoom away. So these can be really useful to help you figure out what a large group of nodes is that you're having to view from a distance. And then as you zoom in, you can then see what each individual sequence object is doing with those object comments. So really quickly, let's set up some comments for our other objects as well. I'll hold on Control and Alt. We'll grab our level loaded and our set vector parameter. I'll tap C and we'll call this initial level conditions press enter and I'll just kind of resize everything accordingly and this one I'm actually gonna take our GMB and we'll set them down to zero and I'll pull my alpha up to about 32 so it just kind of graze that out so it's just sort of a darker area now we have our matinee as well so let's control alt grab all this press C and this will be um, door network. I won't worry about the color here, but we'll expand this out and I'll take my border width and set that to three. So there we go. We've now commented everything out. It's very easy to see what each group of sequence objects is doing. Please make use of comments. They're not only a good idea for you, but if anybody else is working on your levels and trying to help you out with your kismet, it'll make their lives a lot easier because they can see what all of your various sequence object nodes are doing. Save your level. That'll wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.